Welcome to another Cobber Hockey Weekend. I'm joined by head coach Chris Howe. Chris, another weekend of hockey. You guys hit the road, head to River Falls. Norm, Road Warriors again, and we're excited. Uh, our guys actually love getting on the road. We, hit, we make a, a full day out of it tomorrow and then uh, get after it Friday night and Saturday night at River Falls. It's going to be fun, and we're excited. So when do you guys take off? We leave tomorrow morning at 7.45 a.m. Okay, early start. And okay. we're skating at St. Thomas at uh, 12.30 to 1 for a pregame. So uh, our friends from St. Thomas are accommodating us, and we're thankful for that. Okay. So last weekend, Stout and Superior? Yeah, we played two YA teams, and uh, they're both very good games, essentially one-goal games. The Stout game, uh, it was a back-and-forth game, and they went ahead – uh, with about, you know, going to the third period, we were down two to one, but we, uh, we let up a goal with 18 seconds left in the first and 20 seconds into the second. We tied the game with 13 minutes left, and they came down and answered and went ahead with like three minutes to go, and then they scored with like five seconds to go in the game. So it was one of those games where it could have gone either way. Um, but we rebounded really well on, uh, on Saturday, and, and we scored against, we scored a 5-2 win. And we had a five-on-three power play goal. We had a shorthanded goal, killing a five-minute major. Uh, and we had two five-on-five goals in that mix. And a power play goal, yeah, like I said, five-on-three goal. So a uh, real opportunistic win on Saturday, and it was nice to get back on track. Okay, so with four games under your belt, is there, are you starting to notice a little bit of the identity of your team. Yeah, we're still trying to find it. Actually, I think we're uh, we know that we have uh, some high end talent uh, up front and uh, with several defensemen, and we're we're finding that we have a you know a good goaltending. Uh, however, I think that we're just on the cusp of seeing the true identity come out. Uh, in, in our team with the style we want to play. And I think we're right on the edge of getting that blue-collar, grit, hard, heavy hockey that we, we want to play uh, that's going to start to emerge here. Okay. So you have a lot of new faces on the roster. Anyone starting to stand out so far? Well, I mean, obviously the, the two new faces that stand out the most are uh, Aaron Hurt and Tyler Bossert. And uh, I know <laughs> that that's Captain Obvious, but... You know, you look at, at that, and they each have, I think, uh, 10 and 9 points in, in four games. Uh, and then it's just, uh, other than that, it's, I think everybody that, you know, is, is new to our group that's been in the lineup has made a contribution. So besides those two, I would, I would say those two are the biggest ones that uh, you've noticed uh, make the impact. And, and it's hard not to notice that. Okay. Well, good luck this weekend. Hey, thank you. Looking forward to having you talk to Joel. He's, uh, he's going to be fun. Yeah, definitely. The Cobbers hit the road this weekend. Head to River Falls. And Grabowski passed it for Mills. Mills back down for Grabowski. Now Deering out front, fires, and he scores! Right along the ice, and I don't know how that one got through. That's a mistake by Myers. But... I'm now joined by Captain Joe Bergmeier. Joe, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Glad to be here. So, four games under your belt so far. What's the feeling like with this team? Um, I think the uh, main thing would be the potential that we have. Um, through the first four, we're three and one, so it's been a good start. But there's also, you can see, like a lot of areas that we can improve on. But a lot of positives and then a lot of areas of focus that we'll com continue to improve on throughout the year. Okay. Now, you're from Clear Lake, Iowa, yep. Newman Catholic High School. Did you play junior hockey at all? Yeah, I played in North Iowa um, just for the local team. So I got to live at home, so I was very nice. Okay, and why Concordia? Um, probably the main reason is Coach Howe. He got on me pretty early in my junior hockey days and um, obviously made a, made a good impact on how I saw Concordia, and that was mainly the deciding, deciding choice. And also, obviously, the good academics and everything that the school has to offer. All right, now you're a biology major, and you plan to go to dental school. Have you started applying yet? Yeah, I actually uh, I applied to Iowa um, this summer, and I had an interview there about a month ago, so that's uh, good to get the brunt of that out of the way. All right, good for you, good for you. So just talk a little bit about your, your four years here. This is your fourth year This will be third. This third will be third, yeah. Okay, your third year here, sorry. 
Talk a little bit about it. What's the, what are some of the changes you've seen over the past three years with, with this team? With this team? Um, I mean, last year we lost, well, I guess my freshman and sophomore year, we lost really uh, impactful seniors, um, which it's interesting to see all the new guys come in and how they uh, adapt to their roles. And because mm. most everyone has a different role that they have on this team than they had on their junior team. So it's always fun to see that. But with the change, Overall, I don't think the team um, off the ice has changed much. Same group of, uh, same type of group, uh, mm -hmm. close knit, hardworking. On the ice, I think we, this year we got a bit more speed, which will help us a lot down the road, and uh, a bit more depth up front, I'd say too. Yeah. Talk about the competitiveness in the MIAC. This is a brand oh, new man. year, but the, the same competitive league. Yeah, I, we haven't started MIAC play yet, but even in the showcase, the two exhibition type games we had you can already tell how ramped up everyone is to play each other and uh yeah i mean a lot of the players are recruited from the same pool so mm -hmm. we've been playing against each other for a long time and it the competitiveness um yeah presents itself every year and the team that comes out on top is usually the team that buries all their chances and just gets the right bounces at the right times uh, now talk a little bit about division three hockey people don't realize that it's <clears throat> Not far off from Division One hockey. There is no in between. So it's Division One or Division Three if you're going to play college college hockey, NCAA yeah. college hockey. Yeah. Talk about the talent that that lends to the Division Three area because there aren't as many hockey schools as there are other sports. Yeah, um, I think like the main stat you could point out is that I think there's like 140 NCAA hockey teams. Um, I'm not sure how many D1, how many D3, but the spots on NCAA hockey teams are very highly uh, sought after. And um, just to have the opportunity to play college hockey, I mean, Coach House says it all the time, um, is a great honor. And um, not many people that start playing when they're five years old get to advance this far. So, yeah, it's a very um, cool thing to be able to do. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Joe. Yeah, thank you. That's junior captain Joe Bergmeyer.